Well, I got myself a, a new little toy. It's a portable battery operated air compressor. Um, this one doesn't come with a battery, but I got a bunch of other Black & Decker tools, so I figured I'd get this one and uh, try to use this rather than drag out my air tank and fill up two tires and then come back and fill it up and walk back out there and start the car and drive away. That's kind of a pain in the butt, but uh, I paid 50 bucks for this. It was on sale on Amazon, so I picked it up and uh, we're going to give it a try, so let's open it up and see what we got in there. Inside the box. All right, instructions. Don't need those. I'm excited to give this thing a try. See how it works. Fitting hmm. of some sort. Nothing else in the box. And yeah. Apparently, this one can be used either with the battery or you can plug it in, of course. And uh, there's also should be a 12 volt option. Yeah. So you can plug it into your car lighter. I probably won't use anything but the battery. Maybe I'll try the car lighter. We'll see how that goes. But. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'm going to need this is for blowing up air mattresses and crap. I'll just take that off and get that out of the way. But, uh, yeah, seems pretty neat. Let's go ahead and uh, grab one of my batteries and put in it and turn it on and see if it works. Alright, I went and got a battery and I brought over my air tank. We're going to hook it up to that because I, I don't have a flat tire in here to fill. And it's Pretty noisy outside, so we'll hook it up to the air tank. So that's ready to go. And we'll insert my battery in the back of it. And I guess we're going to want a picture of the tire. We're going to want to go DC. And apparently there is a wake button. Yep, that one. And I don't want to go to 27, let's just go to, uh, nope, not 150, there we go. We'll put it to 10, and uh, I guess we'll see what it's, oh, it's already got 20 something PSI, yeah. bar, KPA, PSI, 9 PSI, 10 PSI. don't think it's already at 27 PSI. Maybe it is. I don't want to have to read the instructions. Alright, I think I figured it out. That's the pressure that's in the tank now, which is surprising. I didn't think I had that much. But you set your pressure you want. I'm going to go 28. I've got it on DC so it'll run off the battery and then I can flip to that and it'll start. And, of course, it stopped when it gets to uh, what it wants, so let's put 35 pounds in. Well, there we go. It actually works decently quick for filling up stuff. Not too bad. So I'm going to have to wait for a less windy day to go try it on a tire, but uh, I think this will work great. Now, like I said, this was... 50 bucks just for the tool, not including the battery. Uh, I already had a bunch of batteries. I like them. I'm going to put a link uh, to this thing, the Amazon link for you, so you can check it out if you want to. And bonus, if you do buy it, I make a couple of percent. And uh, yeah, let's wait for a little less windy day and put it on an actual tire and see what it does. Alright, I've used this thing uh, a little bit, kind of got the gist of it, so let's see what it does for a lawnmower tire. Throw the battery in. And that thing kind of sticks. I'm a huge fan of that. Well, we'll get that out, hook it up to the tire here. And 
we'll turn it on to DC and then we'll touch a button touch a button and it should light up here we go I think we're gonna go to 10 psi and I flip it to the tire and it should work And there we go. Took a little while, but uh, aired it up. I'm not in any kind of hurry anyway. Now it went past 10, and now it says it's at 8.5, so I don't know how much air is actually in it. I suppose I could get a, if I had a small enough, a gauge that went small enough, I could check, but that's good enough for a lawnmower. Let's air up the rest of them and, uh, yeah, see how long this battery lasts. All right, I got all of the tires aired up on these four machines here, and uh, it was slow, you know, it took a while, but it worked uh, worked the whole time I still on my same one and a half amp hour battery with the what seems like plenty of life left to go so I think next we'll try the uh, Falcon and air up those tires because they're always flat well I managed to get uh, 16 little lawnmower tires filled and about half a car tire filled on uh, one battery that was the uh, little one and a half amp hour battery I've got these larger aftermarket uh, 4 amp hour batteries that I bought and I imagine they would uh, they would run a long, a long time. It's uh, actually one of the reasons I got this one. Uh, if the battery does run dead you can just grab another one and slap it in rather than take the whole thing back and charge it all up again. Which is kind of nice. So I'm going to go ahead I think and test one of the other features. Uh, the 120 because you can plug this thing into the wall too and this thing says it'll go up to 160 psi I don't have anything that uh, needs to go that high so I'm just gonna go ahead and fill up my air tank there to about 120 and we'll just see how it works test out the AC wall plug in and see how it does Well, there we go. It made it to uh, 120 psi anyway, and uh, yeah, it seemed to do pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, it it took a long time to get there, but uh, it didn't struggle too much when it got to the higher psi's. So I think we'll call that a win. Yeah, and I suppose the leaky uh, leaky hose on there didn't help at all. But yeah, I think if it can do 120, it'll go up higher. So that worked pretty well. Well, I've had this thing for about a month now, and uh, I've ended up using it a lot more than I thought I would. I'm really happy with it. Um, I even use it if I have a flat tire or a low tire on those cars out there. Rather than firing up the big compressor and uh, letting that pump up and dragging the hose all the way out there and trying to find a tire gauge because I always seem to lose those. and Putting the hose away and all that, I just grab this and uh, plug it in tells me the pressure and I set the pressure I want and let her go and even though it's a little bit slower on pumping up um, in the long run it's faster than doing all that other stuff so I'm, I'm pretty happy with it uh, I haven't used all the features on it I haven't used the uh, low volume stuff for like air mattresses and, and crap I haven't uh, had any need for that and I haven't tried the uh, the 12 volt uh, cigarette lighter plug-in yet but 
I imagine that will come in handy if you keep it in your trunk or something. But overall, I think it was a good deal. Now this uh, this thing doesn't come with uh, a battery or a charger, so if you don't already have Black & Decker other tools with batteries and chargers, I would say pass on this. But if you have the batteries and the chargers, um, I would say go for it. Or if you're in the market for a, a drill for around the shop or the house, I'd say you know pick up a Black & Decker drill because they make they make a ton of stuff that'll take this battery all sorts of I think leaf blowers and weed whips and and uh, drills saws and I think there's a light over there I got they make all sorts of crap for this so I think it's a good deal and uh, the one thing well a couple of things that I don't really like when you set the pressure on the uh, small tires like the lawnmower tires and stuff you got to go a little bit above what you want. Um, on car tires it's fine, but the small stuff, it'll pump it up a little bit over and then stop, and you'll actually end up below the pressure you want. So let's say I want 10 pounds in a, in a little lawnmower tire. I'll go up to 12, and then it'll go up above that, and then come back down to about 10. So you're at, a, at the pressure you want. Another thing I'm not really a big fan of is the open bottom here. Um, I just can see that getting packed with snow and crap because I use it outside. What they could have done and what I'll probably end up doing is taking a piece of rubber and just sitting over the back side of it here just to kind of protect that. I don't know why they didn't do that from the from the get-go. It would be a smart idea I would think but uh, all in all not too bad. I'll put, uh, I'll put links in the description uh, for Amazon, you can pick this up if you want, or at least check it out. Uh, I think for right now it's like 50 bucks, but that could change at any time. So, and of course, uh, I'm not getting paid by Black and Decker, but if you buy it on Amazon, I'll get uh, I think it's like 5% or 4% or something. So, I'll put links to all the good stuff, and uh, you can check it out.